Welcome to Round 5 of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of October 10th. I'm Katherine Haleko, and I'm here with Nicole Eridix. Hello. And Terry Morrow. Hello. Today, we're taking a break from talking and complaining and obsessing, and instead, we're shouting out things other people are doing that we think you'll find as useful or enjoyable as we do. We call this our Roundabout Roundup. And I have kind of a two-parter today. Uh Um, (laughs) So... For several, like, probably months, my mom has been telling me that I need to read the book, The Lincoln Highway, by, and I should have looked this up, um, Amor Towles? I don't know how you say either of those names. (laughs) A-M-O-R-T-O-W-L-E-S. Anyway, um, he also wrote A Gentleman in Moscow and a couple other things. Anyway, she keeps telling, she's... This You have to read this book. It's so good. It's great. You have to read it. You have to read it. I'm like, okay, you know, <laughs> file that away. You know, I read my book club book every month. And mm-hmm. then once in a while, I read something else on top of it. Right. Mm-hmm. So, and for the longest time, I was working through the book that my son gave me, <laughs> oh, yeah. um, which I mentioned here. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And anyway, so my mom keeps, <laughs> keeps hyping the Lincoln Highway. And so... A a few weeks ago, I was taking a walk and I walked past a little free library, which there's a lot of them in our town. These are little structures. They're kind of like large mailboxes that people put up on their lawns and then they fill them up with books and you can take a book or leave a book. And, you know, there, I, when I walk by, I usually just glance in and I don't take the time to really sit there and check every, every spine, but, Mm -hmm. um, so I'm walking by a little free library and there it is, the Lincoln highway, the book that my mom has, wow, (laughs) had been flogging all this time. I'm like, Oh, well, so I doubled back and I pulled it out. It is a hardcover that is like 700 pages long. It is so big. Wow. <laughs> but it was there free for the taking so, in the little free library. So do we suspect that your mother somehow contacted somebody and <laughs> said, put a copy of it in the free library. She'll go for it then. <laughs> so I did. I felt like it was kind of a sign that yeah. I should, I should take it. So I wow. did and I have started it and it is indeed a good read mm-hmm. so far. I mean, I'm not nearly 700 pages into oh it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm getting there and I am definitely enjoying it. Um, as we know, and as we have discussed here, I like a book with, you know, a, a plot that mm-hmm. keeps, keeps rolling. <laughs> and this has that, you know, it's, it's, it has highway in the title. So it's a, it's a road book. Uh, so, okay. So, yeah. That's fun. Those two things. And you can go to a website, which will link and find where there are little free libraries in your area. Huh. Um, and they're, they're fun to just kind of like see what's out there. See you what's can f- been planted there for your enjoyment. <laughs> yes, you can find some <laughs> gems once in a while. And I also put things in them. I, I don't just to take from little free libraries. I do because I, I no longer want to save every book that yeah. I read or buy. So right. put them in there. All right. right. And what do you have, Nicole? I have the Waze app. Have mm. you guys used that one? Um, I haven't used it, I but have. I don't know what it is. Not currently. Yes. So it's W-A-Z-E. And, um, For our non-Canadian <laughs> listeners, that's W-A-Z-E. Z- yes. <laughs> Um, so it's an app. I mean, I've known about it for years. I just haven't really used it. And I recently, um, have had some work where I've had to travel a lot and it's a lot of driving to LA and back. And so somebody suggests I use the Waze app because it gives you kind of real time and, um, you know, routes and whatnot, much like Google maps does, but Mm -hmm. this one is kind of like a crowdsourced, um, information app as well so uh-huh. for example if there's like police on the road ahead or a hazard or um a car on the side of the freeway or um it's just it's just a little bit more informative and then uh-huh. 
Um, so it's kind of helpful in knowing what's up ahead, which I uh-huh. appreciate. And then it gives you like all the restaurants in the area. So you can mm-hmm. find them in Starbucks. <laughs> And I don't know, it's, it's kind of gamified a bit too. I don't quite know that end of it. Um, but I love to, it will tell you like the best time to leave and what time you'll arrive. I mean, I think you can do that with Google Maps, mm-hmm. but I don't know if you can do that as easily in the app. But the app is just very accessible. It's fun. It's Do they still you know, have all sorts of like actors providing voices and different... Oh, I didn't know that. Check See, I'm that just out. I think I had Terry Crews or, ordering me around for a while. Oh, okay. Turn here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm enjoying it. So that's my my shout out today. And how about you, Terry? What are you shouting out this week? Well, it's October, Catherine, and you know mm-hmm. what that means? It's pumpkin. Decorative- <laughs> I was about to say it was decorative gourd season. <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin everything. My pumpkin donuts are back at Dunkin' Donuts. And they're so delicious. And I think I mentioned here once before that I had gotten some lovely tea from the Gold River Trading Company. Mm-hmm. And I they sent me an email saying, hey, we have pumpkin spice tea. Wouldn't you like some pumpkin spice tea? And I said, you know what? As a matter I of fact, would. I really would. And it is quite tasty. I've had pumpkin tea before and not been that impressed. But this is good, and the little sachet bags are very pretty. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's pleasantly pumpkiny, almost sort of a spicy chai type taste. But nice. It's just regular tea bags good. that you dip in, dip in your water. And then uh, the other day, my husband came home from the store with a bag of cookies from Tate's Bake Shop. Mm. They are pumpkin spice cookies, and they have some sort of like a little chip of something in them. I'm not sure what the. It might be cream cheese frostingy type of mm. chip in it okay. they're the kind of cookies you get they're in a they're in a cute little bag and they're very thin and they're like specially baked and they're that says they're craft craft baked and so it's very fancy and what that translates to is not that many cookies for the money <laughs> but still he got these and he started eating them and i made the big is that a pumpkin spice food stuff eyes at him and he let me have a bite and oh so good so <laughs> pumpkiny so spicy And so he finally, he didn't like them that much. So he said, I'm just going to save the rest of these in the bag for you. And I'm trying not to eat too many delicious things because they always have calories. And, you know, I'm worried about that. But I will allow myself a half a cookie a day. (laughs) I savor it. They are very tasty. If you do not live someplace, they're made in Southampton, New York, it says very prominently on the bag. So it may only be in stores in a certain area, but they are online. So you can order them. Mm, they sound pricey, wonderful extremely tasty very thin and crispy and pumpkin-y and, mm, I love me, a, go you a pumpkin flavored anything if pumpkin is your thing you will enjoy these excellent and if going about your day after listening to a podcast is your thing that's <laughs> it for another week of Parenting Roundabout If you missed any of our earlier episodes this week, look them up on Spreaker, Apple Podcast, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts to hear what we have to say about post-college transitions, wildlife encounters, and our kids' food experiences. You can also find all our episodes at ParentingRoundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. And please visit our Amazon shop at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mamatude where you can find links to a lot of things we talk about. Have a great weekend and see you back here on Monday.